All right, it's Friday, baby. It's Friday, y'all know what that means. I already opened my beer on take one because I screwed up my mouth about halfway through, so, you know, toss that shit out the window and start over again. So, it is Beer and Bud Friday. A little more practice won't hurt. So, indeed, get your beer off the ice, baby. Mmm. Stuff that bud down in the bowl, if you're so inclined. And I am. Try to relax for the weekend. Been through a week now. We just got to navigate a nice weekend and start it all over again. That's what the weekends are for. Get ready for the next freaking week. Anyway. Anyway. It is Friday. And I hope you have a great weekend. I hope the sun is shining on your heart and all that shit. It's a nice day down here in Texas. Got a little meat in the smoker. We're happy. Anyway. What's been going on? Well, we came off a great week of uh, uh, the DNC last week, and man, we was on fire. Uh, Kamala Harris is, is 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 the polls are going up. She's making the rounds out there. Last night she had the interview there with CNN's Dana Bash, her and Tim Walsh. I think they did an outstanding job. She gave, she carved out a future for America. Her vision for where she wants to see this this country go, and, and, and I was inspired by that. And she's back out on the road today. Maybe she's cooking it. And I'm, I'm just, I'm waiting. I, the election day just can't come soon enough because I want to see old Donnie boy get his little butt smacked. But anyway, talking about Donnie, what's going on? Well, we know about all the shit that he's been. And, you know, he's, he's out there trying to rescue his reputation with the military by, you know, going into Arlington Cemetery and, uh, you know, standing around like that like an idiot. One of the Gold Star Fathers is really upset with one of the, the videos of him walking around that grave. And that was the first place Donnie come out and said, oh, I don't know anything about it. Of course, that's what he always does. I don't know anything. Project 25, oh, I don't know anything. It's Donnie's standard answer when he knows he's screwed up. Is oh, I don't know anything. I'm a dumbass. And he is. But he knows how to play the maggots. So he came out and said he didn't know anything about it. But are you shitting me? The first place it popped up was on his true social crap network. Uh, Oh shit, my thing's going off. Anyway, uh, that's Robin Kincaid trolling me from Friday on the front porch. We'll try to get back in touch with her. Anyway, uh, Donnie's known for this shit. You know, he walked around Arlington with his little camera crew after being told not to, pushing a female uh, Arlington Cemetery worker out of the way with some expletives uh, uttered. Uh, we don't know exactly what that is. I haven't heard anyway, but I can imagine what it was because Donnie's a prick and he thinks he, you know, can do whatever he wants. So yeah, he has no respect when he walked around that cemetery. As a matter of fact, his little video has him walking around whining about how Joe Biden's fault for all of this bullshit. Not accepting a damn bit of responsibility for the thousands of Taliban that he let out of prison right before that little incident happened. Yeah, Donnie doesn't take responsibility for shit. And that's the kind of crap he is, but he's not beyond using anything for a prop. Remember all the street clearing that had to go through and push the protesters out of the way so Donnie could walk across the street and hold up an upside down Bible, Bible for a photo op just to take a picture of look at me, I'm a Christian because I'm holding this Bible? No, no, it doesn't make him a Christian. And walking around Arlington does not make him a patriot. It makes him anything but a patriot that he would use that as a backdrop for his pitiful, whiny ass story that he's telling. No, there is no integrity in that man. There's no honor. He doesn't give two shits about anybody in that cemetery or any other cemetery. Uh, maybe the one at Bedminster where his ex-wife is buried. For some reason, he likes to stay close to that. Everybody still thinks there's shit buried down there with her, but I don't know. Donnie is, uh, Donnie is a strange character, at least to say the least. But I don't want my, my country being run by a man who I cannot trust with the military. Are you shitting me? He's going to be the commander in chief. It was a practice run before. He didn't know what the fuck he was doing, but now he does. Now he's got advisors and people that are willing to take this country for a ride for their own personal benefit, baby. So yeah, Donnie's just crewing up at the right people. It's, we have to be the ones. We are the stalwarts on this man. We're the ones that stop this shit. So just remember who he is, whether it's Arlington or whether it's a church or any other uh, monument that he could go to. He's using it as a backdrop, a prop to say, oh, look at me. I'm so great. 
when he's nothing but a lying, stinking, draft-dodging coward who never did a thing for his country. Both Tim Walls and Kamala Harris both have a history of service to this country, of service to their community. What has Donnie got? Hey, Trump wine, Trump steaks, Trump university, you name it, Trump's got it. Trump tennis shoes, Trump trading cards, anything Trump, he's got it for sale, baby. Because that's what he is. He's a two-bit salesman trying to get your money out of your wallet by buying tennis shoes or trading cards or I don't know, a piece of his, his cloth from his suit when he was assassinated almost, you know? All that shit. He'll capitalize on anything because nothing means anything to him. Nothing does. It's all for sale, baby, including America. So don't let it be on the chopping block, baby. Step up and do your part. We didn't just fall out of a coconut tree, you know. Anyway, I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this family. And thank you for being concerned enough about your nation uh, to even be watching this shit. Anyway, uh, we had a great meeting last night on the Blue Dot Family Meeting. We'll be back again on Sunday for another one, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sunday. Uh, go to a blue dot Texas dot com. You can follow the instructions to download Discord. It's a free app, like 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 a, you know, a telephone app or some shit, like Skype. And uh, you can come on the show and talk and, and put your two cents in. Anyway, I got cats over here looking at me like they're hungry. I gotta go. We'll see y'all later. <laughs>